always lived here in Cobb County? Uh, I moved here, well, I've always lived in Cobb County. Okay. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the uh, whole story. <laughs> okay, well, we moved to Cobb County when I was four or five. Okay. And then we moved to Ackworth, which is still in Cobb County when I was nine. And then we stayed here. Okay, cool. So you've been here ever since. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I was not from here originally either technically but like I was it was during yeah. my childhood I kind of just moved down the east coast somehow I don't know Same. how that yeah, happened we started in New Hampshire and then moved oh, down cool, here oh cool 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 was New Hampshire the only other state that you lived in well I was born in Zimbabwe oh and cool and then we moved to New Hampshire and then we moved to Georgia gotcha gotcha I was in I was born in Connecticut but then I was only like two years old and then we moved to I think North Carolina and then South Carolina and then Georgia so like one state <laughs> at a time anyway okay so um, how did your family end up getting to Cobb County? Do you know? Um, well, part of it was weather. We okay. Liked the weather down here because we're more accustomed to mm-hmm. it. And also just living in the south is cheaper. Gotcha. And so I don't really think they knew, like, the difference between the counties, but we kind of just stayed here because they liked the school system. Gotcha. Was, did you know if there was a reason that they decided to move from New Hampshire to Georgia in general? They didn't like the cold. They just didn't like the cold. <laughs> like that the was cold. the only, it's like, nah, yeah, cheaper, we're not into like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, could you tell me about uh, what kind of home you live in? Like, is it a house or an apartment or, like, we're it's in Cobb County. It's a house. Yeah. Like, a standalone house. I don't know why they want me to ask <laughs> a specific question, but it's, it's just, it's yeah. It's a subdivision. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So it's just, like, you have a house. Mm-hmm. I have a house, too. Mine <laughs> is pretty much the same description. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so do you happen to have a rooftop solar on your home? No. Is there... Um, a reason for that. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think my parents know much about solar energy, and I don't really, okay. I don't know if there's any of those options in Cobb County. Yeah, gotcha. So, like, it wasn't really your decision, it was kind of, like, made yeah. for you anyway. Do you yeah. think that you would want rooftop solar if you had the option? Yeah, I don't know how cost works into it, but I would yeah. love to have a rooftop solar. Um, do you have reasons for why you would or wouldn't want to have rooftop solar on your home specifically? I know it's great for the environment and it's better for the and also like I don't know, isn't it kind of like self sustainable so it kind of just yeah. works for your house? Mm-hmm. I think that's cool. Yeah, I think also if I remember correctly, I think it's that whatever power that your solar panels don't use or something like the excess goes mm-hmm. to like you can like Hey, you, you get yeah, you sell it back oh, to Georgia yeah. Power. I think you get like money for that or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's Georgia cool. Power like owns most of it here, pretty mm-hmm. much. But you know, Georgia <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, do um, you know like would there be any cons? Do you think like personally? Do you think there's any cons from your point of view that you wouldn't want to have solar? All I can think of is cost. I don't know how that works into it. I don't know if it costs more to have solar panels on your house. Um, if it doesn't, then I don't see any cons, but if that's part of it, then yeah, that'll be a con. Gotcha. Okay, so now I'd like to talk a little bit more about solar, rooftop solar adoption in general. So I'm going to give you this map of the U.S. and basically just like based on your perceptions, um, where do you think, like, in in the U.S., like, people most likely have solar power on the rooftops? Like, where do you think most people would have it? And feel free to draw or label anything on the map. Where they would most likely have it. Or where people uh, would have the most solar energy on their homes. It's basically the West Coast, yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking of, like... Yeah, lots Which, of different factors going in. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, which states would care the most? Yeah, that's what I that thought, kind of too. Because, <laughs> like, I don't think any of the southern states... Yeah, unfortunately. Would, yeah, would where we that. live. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about the north, either, because... Mm. Okay. It's just, like, whatever you think, because we'll just... It's good. <laughs> 
Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so basically the West Coast and a little bit of the upper mm, yeah. upper east there. Yeah. Upper northeast. Mm. Okay, so um, tell me a little bit of why you thought those areas, like what are, what's your logic behind why you chose these areas? Well, I thought about like who is the most aware or like trying to like, do more for the environment because I feel like the states where there's like a lot of really populated cities are kind of not even worried about that. They're just mm-hmm. trying to like, you know, work and make you know, as much money as they can and then in the south... I think the same thing. I don't know. I guess, like, the richer states probably get into it more yeah. than, yeah. Gotcha. Do you have any other reasons, or are those the main ones? Those are the main ones. Okay, cool. So, uh, what do you think makes the community, like, the different parts of the U.S. different from, like, Cobb County in general, I guess? Like, why do they think differently, or why you think that they would want it more in Cobb County? Um, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes the ad- I'm just thinking of, like, my parents and yeah, yeah, yeah. other adults, like, they just couldn't be bothered, honestly. Yeah, like, <laughs> if it's not convenient, yeah, they won't go yeah. out of their way. I don't know how much they were educated on it, right? Like, older homeowners um, compared to us because like all of the stuff that's happened with the environment has been kind of recent. Sure, yeah. So for they're sure. not really thinking about that. Like my parents call me a tree hugger because they just like don't care at all. And uh, I don't know how... Oh, just like in comparison yeah, to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're just like, oh, it'll be fine. It's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I guess like convenience? I don't know. So would you call yourself, would you think that, like, in comparison to maybe, like, just an average person in Cobb County, do you think that you care more about the environment than the average person? I definitely care more. I could do more, but I, yeah, I do care everyone a lot. Can. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think I forgot to ask you, so you're not a homeowner, right? You're just no. not a, a non-homeowner, no. and approximately when did you move to Cobb County? Do you know, like, the date or the year? I think it was... When did I move to Cobb County? 2004? Oh, really? 2004 or 2005. Okay, cool, cool. I only got here in middle school. (laughs) Really? Yeah. So, but anyway, (laughs) that's just me. Uh, Do you think, like, looking at these places in general, like, are there words that come to mind, like to describe them um like would would there be something that you would want to label them with like you could literally label them if you want to <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess modern modern I think. Uh, hipster yeah you should write <laughs> okay. modern and hipster <laughs> uh, those are good words <laughs> yeah what do you think makes them so modern and hipster just thinking about like the Seattle area and then LA and California and then also like the Northeast I know is pretty I don't know they're just making a lot of changes as far as like how they do things and just the overall look of everything Mm -hmm. they're like I don't know they're moving much faster than the rest of the country I agree I think the mindset there is just a lot different than Mm -hmm. ours probably maybe they just care a lot more or something like that I just recently got into um having pen pals I don't know what came over (laughs) me I was like I'm bored let's have some pen pals and I met this guy from Seattle Mm -hmm. I was talking to him about this because I was like oh yeah I'm doing this in the summer and he's like yeah, it seems like we care more over here, but he's like, I'm still not seeing much change. I was like, really? I didn't know that. Like, I actually mm-hmm. thought, like, they were having a lot more progress than us, and I was like, this is sad to know. <laughs> <laughs> so that was unfortunate to hear. But anyway, so you're done with the map of the U.S., so I will take that, I suppose. And then we're going to move on to a map of Georgia. I always feel like I don't know enough about the state I live in, I but if you want to take a shot and just guess where you think people or where areas would be that you think would have more solar power, that would be awesome. 
take your time for real. Like we've only we've only been here twelve minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe the more solar power. Isn't that so funny though? Because like that's kind of like the region we live in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought too. Like when I would think about it logically, like of course, like it would be where we are, but yeah. there's not. <laughs> I, mean, I, get it's so weird. I mean, I saw some downtown. Oh really? There was like, you know, the Ferris wheel. Uh huh. Is. I saw this parking lot that was right below it that had solar panels on top of it. Oh cool. So that's what I'm. Is that in of. Atlanta? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Downtown. Gotcha. Like anywhere else <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean if you wanted to like circle a broader region you're you're you can do whatever you want on this map this is your free free <laughs> free reign right here maybe that's interesting okay cool yeah and why do you think those areas, what's your logic behind that? Well, here, again, like, I'm thinking about modern. Right. And I think, like, areas like Midtown and stuff, like, they're just trying to be more progressive. And then I'm thinking of, like, where there'd be more opportunities to have solar panels. And I thought, like, I guess areas where there's a lot of vast space gotcha. to do it. So they could just have, like, a field and just solar panels. I've never seen it, but... Right. It yeah, just, happen. like, what you think, or yeah. maybe... Yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. They should do that. <laughs> they should do that. Yeah. So, are you thinking here near the um, near Atlanta area, that zone? Do you think they're modern because they're more like industrialized, or like they're more yeah. they progress more in that sense? Mm -hmm. So, like, like urban building. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to like make something new. Like, there's always construction. There's always new towns and plazas popping up. Yeah, so you would think maybe yeah. they would want it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a little salty. <laughs> uh, what's your logic behind that area next to the coast with Savannah? Well, I thought, like, with this, or just southern Georgia kind of in, in general, general there would yeah. be a lot more opportunity to have them because mm -hmm. there's just a lot of unused space. Like, here yeah. it's more concentrated. But then if you're like, there's just so much area right. that you can use. Kind of like, rural. Yeah, and it doesn't have to get in the way of farming land and stuff. Like, I don't know, there's ways to work around it. So I thought somebody that had that kind of idea, like, oh, this would be a great space to use, like, they would have done it. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. I'm just gotcha. Like, no, yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. And what makes you think, like, people from, I guess, like, not this area, because this is where we live, yeah. <laughs> but, like, from over there, like... What do you, why do you think um, people over there um, are so different from, like, the people who live in Cobb County, like? Um, I guess opportunity, it might be a bit less concerned about, like, I don't know, themselves, and more about, like, everything going on around them, because mm -hmm. I guess, like, when and you're kind of in a city area, you're more focused on, like, what do I have to do and less concerned about, you know, what's going on. But then here it's kind of more relaxed, I guess. Because there's not, like, a few... I mean, Savannah's pretty populated, but I, yeah. it's not, like, you know, as busy. Yeah. So they're not... You think they're not as, like... There's just not as many people and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah. Gotcha. I had something else I was going to say, and now I don't remember. <laughs> Um, oh, so do you think, like, that the people in that area have maybe, like, a different mindset than the people in Cobb County? I'd say so, yeah. What do you think is different about their mindset? I don't know. There's just something about, like, southern Georgia compared to... Yeah. <laughs> Mid-Georgia. mid upper, it's just a yeah. different environment and kind of a different culture. Not, like, so Almost, so yeah. But kind of, yeah. It's different. That's so strange that, like, <laughs> you would think there would be a different different culture, like, within the same state. Yeah. But there like, totally is. People have this idea of what southern states are like, and it's like, yeah, some parts are some like parts that. Some parts are like that. <laughs> like, no, it's really not like that all the time. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, are you done with that map? Do you want to add anything, labels or anything like that? You don't have to, I'm just asking. 
what did you write? More progressive. Progressive. And progressive and more more progress. Progress. Okay, cool. More opportunity? Mm -hmm. Oh, like more land, like more space to do it. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So now that we're done with that. So, um, do you know anything about uh, the opinions of people who are close to you here, like your closest friends and things like that, their opinions? Do you know anything about their opinions about solar power or anything? Um, well, we were in the same AIDS class, so <laughs> we learned about like the same stuff about the environment. Gotcha. So I know that they want things to happen, like solar panels and putting them more places. I also think they are not doing much, or they could do more. But I know that our mindset is kind of similar in that, like, it would be great if there were more. Right, but... <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, you, um, do you know if... Do you have any friends who do have solar power on their roof in Cobb County? No. Gotcha. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, why do you think that they do, or, do they, or if they... Obviously, they don't. So yeah. why do you think that they, they don't, don't for, for the most part? Well, I think it's kind of my situation. Like, their parents just found a neighborhood that they liked, and there just happened to not be. So I don't know any neighborhoods that do have it. Yeah, it's kind of so, hard. Yeah. I think a lot of people are skeptical to get involved because they're like, this looks like a lot of, like, time and, like, figuring things out. How, yeah. how do you even get this? Yeah. So, yeah, I understand. <laughs> That happened to me too. I was I did a practice with like a different interviewer and they were like, Oh, why is this? I'm like, Well my dad <laughs> yeah. Yeah, He doesn't like, want it, but mm. I do. <laughs> so I completely understand. Mm. Um so is that just accounting for like people that you knew from school? Do you know anyone else, like even adults who like have different mindsets or like people you know in general? Mm. Well, my teachers, some of my teachers, I think my AIDS teacher actually has solar panels. And I have a friend that lives in Atlanta, but I don't think her... She lives in an apartment, and I don't think it has solar panels there. Um, I know some teachers that drive electric cars. I don't think it's the same thing, yeah, but... Yeah, not quite. No. Uh, other than that, no. Okay, gotcha. Do you, um, uh, what's... Where did you go to school, by the way? Uh, high school or junior yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the same high school, Sarah Kate. I'm sure yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> um, so does your apes teacher live in the county? I don't, I don't know. I think so. I don't know if she's not districted here. Like, the house isn't in the same district. But I yeah. think it's in Cobb County. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Man. <laughs> Make sure I did everything right. Okay, cool. Um, pretty sure I did everything, but just making sure. So, do you think in the future, like, if you got your own home, would you want to have it installed, or like, would you think about it? I would definitely think about it. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Do you have to ask the county to install solar panels on your roof? I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> you probably have to do something like that. I'm quite sure it everything is like through Georgia Power. They have like some kind of monopoly on like all of like any kind of like power in Georgia for the most part, or at least on solar panel panels, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you'd have to probably like contact Georgia Power and be like, hey, I wanna change to solar panels instead of what I currently have and yeah. then they probably like come and install them and whatever else okay. but I think yeah it's pretty expensive still yeah. but we're honestly trying to find like things that are like non-economic factors as well like other reasons why people would think about like not having it or like why they would want it and things like that so do you think there's any like big factors that would influence people's choices that isn't economic as far as mindset goes, I kind of feel like some people almost see caring about the environment as a luxury and kind of a secondary thought because it's like I have a family and I have a job and there's so many other things that right. I can worry about. Why do I need to worry about solar energy or 
anything else around that. Gotcha. So it's not like a priority. Like yeah. I don't care about this as, as much as I care about this other thing, yeah. which is what I would rather focus on, I guess. Mm -hmm. So people just you just think like people don't want to focus their energy on it as much. Yeah. Like I mean, I care a lot about it. But my parents were like, because you have the time to care about it, because you're not doing as much as we are. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a lot of people think they're really busy, and that I think people being busy kind of prevents them from doing things that they would want to do otherwise, I guess, which is a little sad.